The Grand Prix of Europe takes place in the 5417 metre Valencia street circuit over 57 laps. Pirelli's new medium compound tyre will make its debut here, offering an excellent compromise between grip and durability. The circuit takes in more than 20 corners, as well as four straights where the cars reach nearly 300 kph. Turn 2 is taken at relatively low speed with reduced aerodynamic downforce. The grip comes mainly from the tyre, which managed to generate adhesion through steering and traction. The new medium tyre provides increased grip as well as durability, crucial at this point. The softer compound though is more biased towards grip. Turn 9 is a key point of the lap. The inconsistent track surface heading onto the bridge means that grip is a fundamental issue here. The same problem applies at the exit of the bridge, amplified by an immediate tight right-hand corner. All the engine's power is then unleashed up to 7th gear on the straight, using curves as well to boost ultimate top speed. Turn 17 is a corner that helps bring the tyres rapidly up to temperature. When using the soft tyres, the driver can attack the most demanding sequence of corners of the lap with the maximum grip possible, controlling the car's reactions perfectly. This sequence of bends is taken in 7th gear, so it's important to stick to the line and take the ideal trajectory, driving as neatly as possible. After heavy braking, the driver eases the car into the final corner once more before the start-finish straight, where the engine's full power is unleashed again. 